If what you say is true, Captain Spire, a vast chaos fleet is massing for attack. Inquisitor Horst, are you sure of this man? Maybe we should consider someone else. Isn't this captain from a planet that rebelled against the Emperor's will? Enough! His faith will be tested. Thoroughly. Love the Emperor, for he is the salvation of mankind. Obey his words, for he will lead you to the light of the future. Honor his servants. Let us begin. We needed to be certain. The enemy we face is no ordinary foe. I understand. You are to be promoted to the rank of Admiral and given command of the fleet. I will not fail you, Inquisitor. There is much to do and little time, Admiral Spire. I fear a storm coming to the Gothic Sector. One we are not yet prepared to face. The Gothic Sector is beginning to turn away from the Emperor's light. Treachery, sedition, and heresy have broken out like a plague upon our worlds. Admiral Spire, your new rank entitles you to command a small war fleet of Imperial Navy ships. It is your task to ensure the citizens of the Imperium remain safe and loyal. Your first assignment is to put an end to the unrest and rebellion threatening a nearby system. Your first assignment is to put an end This interface helps you prepare your fleet for the next mission. At the head of every fleet is the flagship. You must select one of your vessels as the flagship for each assignment. Choose your Dauntless Light Cruiser as the flagship for this first operation. You have another captain assigned to your command. This captain commands a Dauntless Light Cruiser and will assist you for the duration of the mission. Add his ship to your fleet. Smaller ships of the Escort class can provide fire support or scout for the enemy. The Firestorm frigates are a good choice for this assignment. Once your fleet is prepared to engage the enemy, you should set course for the target system at once. Admiral, the fleet has reached the last known position of the heretic ships. Their sedition must not stand. How shall we deploy our flagship? Now you must select how you wish to deploy remaining ships of the line. Now that your cruisers are deployed, you must next determine where to place the Firestorm Escort Vessels. 
Your new promotion has placed you in command of the entire fleet, Admiral. That means you can order your captains to adopt engagement modes during the battle. These engagement modes define how your captains act in battle. You can change the engagement modes at any time. Admiral, the Firestorm escort ships have powerful prow weapons. I would advise setting these ships to a frontal attack. A good understanding of each ship's weapons is the best way to know which engagement mode to use. The macro cannons on our ships are most effective when fired at short range. Now that we've deployed the fleet, it is time to root out these rebellious traitors. All ships, coordinate your movements. We will advance as one group at the same speed. At your command! We will set course for a gas cloud, and use it to ambush the rebel ships. Once our ships enter the gas cloud, it should mask our fleet's emissions. Course plotted! Engines hot! The gas cloud conceals our fleet, sir. We're invisible to the enemy ships. Excellent. The trap is set. Now we wait for our prey. Sir, I've detected an enemy vessel. Shall I engage? Wait until you have identified your target, Captain. I have a probe ready to launch, Admiral. That ought to tell us what we're looking at. Very well, Captain. Launch the probe. Yes, Admiral. Choose where you want the probe to go. The probe will identify any nearby signals. All readings are confirmed. That ship belongs to the traitorous rebels. And now that we have identified the ship, our weapons cogitators can automatically target the enemy vessel. All ships, attack the enemy vessel! Awaiting orders! We are the Imperial Navy! So... Admiral Spire, did Ravensburg send you to bring us to heal? There are other powers in the galaxy besides the Imperium, Admiral. They can reward you for your skill and your devotion. Enemy's void shields are down. Sir, I suggest that we concentrate fire on their plasma generator. Targeting the plasma generator drains the ship's power. They'll have difficulty using their warp engines. Critical damage to the enemy ship, sir. 
Their void shield capacitors are destroyed. Admiral, this is a battle we cannot win. I'm taking my ship out of this mess. Admiral, he is activating his warp engines and preparing to disengage from the battlefield. This cowardice cannot be tolerated. Admiral, we must put an end to this pitiful display and make an example of this craven fool. Your orders? This is Lieutenant Krath. We've executed the captain and taken back control of the ship. Well done, Krath. You've been promoted to captain. Follow my orders and we'll get through this. As you command, Admiral. The enemy ship has activated its warp engines, and is attempting to disengage. I have a strike team of Navy armsmen ready to sabotage the enemy's warp engines. We must act quickly, and use the ship's teleportarium to launch the attack! Your orders? Your command. Fool! Your faith in the Emperor is as false as your courage! Silence this heresy! Fire all weapons! We should keep our distance from the enemy ship, sir. It will soon explode. All ships, you've fought with valor this day and proven yourselves worthy of the Imperial Navy. Set course to leave the system. I must report our victory to Lord Admiral Ravensburg. You've exceeded my expectations, Admiral. However, 
Other seditious forces are making themselves known in the Gothic sector. I would like you to meet Fabricator Cambrius. He is in charge of the Adeptus Mechanicus shipyards at Port Moore. Admiral, you and your fleet can repair and upgrade your vessels at Port Moore. By the Omnissiah, my tech priests stand ready to assist you. Your current rank allows you access to the most common classes of vessel. As you grow in renown throughout the Gothic sector, larger classifications of ships will become available. Follow me, Admiral Spire. I wish to show you the sacred shipyards of Port Moore.